we've got the wackiest honeybees in the whole world. But first, you know what? We've got them messy. Let's bring out the kids who are going to get messy and the cheerleaders, Jackie and Sammy. Yes, yes. Who we have for the red team? They've been friends for six years. We've got Stephanie Ornelas and the maniac, Michael Nicro. Oh, yeah. Oh, the gold. Well, we have friends for eight years. We've got Jacqueline Sullivan and Daring Daniel Cazzo. Yes. Time for our first stunt. Let's get messy. I'm taking everybody with me. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it then. Come on. Yes. Come on in here, everybody. We are here at the Funhouse Deli of Disgust for a sloppy salami surprise. We call this stunt Salami Toss, and here's how it works. Over here... In each of these bins, we've got a ton of salamis, and we've got tons of gold mustard for the gold team and red ketchup for the red team. When I say go, they're going to grab one of these salamis and slam dunk them in the sauce. Then they're going to throw them over the counter to their partner. Now, the girl's job, listen up girls, because this gets kind of tricky. They're just going to have to catch a salami and drop it into their bin right here, then wait for another one. Everybody in position. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right, whoever drops the most salami is going to win. I've got to drop them right in those bins. Look at those flying salami. Flying gross salami. Look at the girls, they're covered, I don't believe it. All right, come on over here. We're gonna count the red ones first. Come here, Steph. Come on this side. Come on over here, Michael. All right, we're gonna count how many salamis they've got. We've got one, two, three, and one more for four. Good job. Now, holy cow. What is this? From Brooklyn, we got a whole deli here. There is enough salamis in here for about three families. The gold team wins the stunt. Good work. Everybody left. They took off without me. I'm going to leave the salamis here. I'm going to meet them back there to award the points. All right, listen up. For winning that stunt, we're going to give the gold team 25 points. Listen up, guys. That last stunt was done in our funhouse deli. Is the word deli a shorter form for delicious? Go ahead, Daniel. Delicatessen? Delicatessen is right. The man from Brooklyn, he knows. At the end of the first stunt, we got the gold team with 50 points. We're going to take a break now, but we'll be back with super gross glop in a new disgusting version of Dumpo. You're not going to want to miss it. Someone's going to get dumped on. Yeah. <laughs> Check out my queen bee. These are my new girlfriends right here. Show them your stingers, girls. Let me see those stingers. Whoa, baby. Whoa, nasty girls. Now, here's what we're going to do. Inside a beehive, you'll see hundreds of cells just like these filled with honey. That's why we call it a honeycomb. When I say go, they're going to stick their stinger in one of these beehive cells and pop a balloon inside. Then they're going to turn around, find the big drop of honey in their cell, pick it up with their teeth, and drop it over here into the team's honey jar. The bee with the most honey drops in the jar after 30 seconds will win. Girls in the position. All right, now. Everybody at home, let's get this thing started. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right, they gotta get as many as they can. Whoever gets the most in there is gonna win. Is it what? Come here a second, you. You know what the judges just told me? That you used your hands on one. Is that true? How does it taste, by the way? Yucky. Yucky. Spit it out. If you're in my house, don't worry about it. Just spit. All right, we're going to take one of these out right away. This one's gone. And as you can see, the gold team has only one honey drop in there. 
The red team has one honey drop, which means it's a tie. They both win the stun. Not bad for two bees. We've got a bee from Brooklyn. We've got a bee from L.A. Now we're going to go back and award the points. Let's go, girls. Come on. For winning that stunt, we are going to give both teams 25 points. We're going to this question for the guys. The girls just played honeybees in a hive. But what is, but what is it that a honeybee actually collects from flowers? Honey? Go ahead, Michael. Pollen. Pollen is right for 25 points. Good work. All right, we're going to go to the next stunt. Uh, I'm going to bring the guys with me. You ready, boys? Let's do it, guys. Come on. Take a seat. Take a seat. We are here at the Funhouse Zoo for the latest version of everyone's favorite stunt. Audience, what do we call it? That's right. And today, it's Animal Dumpo. I'm going to ask them some questions about animals. The answer to each question is one of the animals in those bins. When they think they know what the answer is, they're going to grab the correct animal from the bin, race back here, and hit this lockout signal. Then it's going to light up. Every time they get a correct answer, they're going to send their opponent one step closer to wearing a can full of disgusting schmutz. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Three correct answers means three strikes against their opponent, and that means it's Dumpo time. Is everybody ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it then. It's time to get somebody messy. The first animal, get the animal that is the same as Tony, the Frosted Flakes spokesman. All right, let me see this. Let me see this. This right here is Tony the Tiger. That's right, which the red team goes up one notch closer to disaster. Hey, Tony. All right. Get the animal that could be a python, a cobra, or a rattler. All right, red team got in there. This is a snake. You see, every time their garbage can goes up, it's funny. That other team always gets in there because they're scared of getting dumped on. That's right, gold team goes up one notch. Get the animal that travels everywhere with his trunk. Ooh, gold team just got in there. Yes, Dumbo, the flying elephant, is right, which takes the red team up one more notch. Now, red team, one more notch, and you're going to get dumped on, so you better get in there, okay? Get the animal that is a crocodile's cousin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you always scare somebody, and they always get in there. This is an alligator. That's right. The gold team goes up one more notch. It's a tie. It's a tie. All right, guys. You have to wait till I completely finish the sentence before you grab it, okay? Get the animal who's able to eat the leaves right off the treetops. Go. All right. All right, sit down. Now, this is definitely a giraffe. It was just a foot race to see who get there first. They both waited till I finished the sentence. Good work, guys. All right, listen up. You got any last words, L.A.? Feel good. It'll feel good? I love it. It's dumpo time. <laughs> How does it feel? Great. It feels great. I love it. The guy's awesome. Let's go back and award the points. Come on. Come on back here. Be careful. Don't slip. Tell me honestly, how does it feel? Great. You love it, don't yeah. you? the messiest show on TV. We're giving the gold team 25 points. All right, we're going to question for the girls. Listen up. That stunt featured our famous Dumpo garbage cans. Which of these TV creatures lives in a garbage can? Alf, Punky Brewster, or Oscar the Grouch? Go ahead. Stephanie. Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. He's a nasty guy. He lives in a garbage can. That's right, for 25 points. We got the red team with 75. We've got the gold team in the lead with, 20, with a 100. Coming up, it's time for the Funhouse Grand Prix Race. That's the event that's going to lead one of our teams to the awesome Funhouse. We're going to the starting line. Don't move a muscle. It's going to be fun. You ready? Let's go. Come on. Need your help to win back the future. Grand Prix race for firefighters everywhere. It's the battle of the fire engines. In the first lap, the girls are going to drive the guys around in these racing fire engines. At the first stop, they're going to pick up a fire extinguisher. At the second stop, they're going to pull out the, put out the fire in the windows of the building. 
second lap, they're going to change lanes and drivers. The guys are going to stop, pick up another fire extinguisher, and put out the fires at their second stop. Then they're going to race for home. First season across the finish line is going to get 25 points. And players, while you're riding in these fire engines, don't forget to grab the 10 and 25 point tokens, which are all around the track. They're going to grab a big handful from the token bank because there's 200 points in each bank, which changes every single game. Firefighters, you ready? Yeah. All right, then. Let's rock and roll. On your mark. Get set. Go. They're off. just edge out the gold team by maybe two inches they win the race Are you okay yeah. let's go back and award the points come on let's do it come on that was an awesome race a very close race the audience was going crazy two people in particular but we're going to give the checkered flag to the red team they did a great job that ties up the score 100 apiece we're going to go to your tokens first how'd you do with the token bank all right okay all right we're going to find out right now we're going to the whites one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to the blues. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives the red team a grand total of 320. All right, listen up. You guys get more than 320 from Brooklyn. They're on their way to the funhouse. We're going to find out. We're going to the whites. One, two, three, four, five. All the rest are blue. We're going to the blues. One, two, three, four, five. That gives you 275. Red team's going to the funhouse. You guys played a great game of the right down to the race. Tiny, what do we have for you? All contestants receive British Knights. Get off on the right foot. Get off and be cake. British Knights athletic footwear. For guys, gals, and kids too. British Knights, the right move for you. And this is sorted merchandise. Gatano invites your family to get to know the Gatano family of products. Gatano kids, making sure the grown-ups know where it's at. Gatano, the spirit of family. Everybody at home knows what this is. This is the Funhouse game. I'm going to give it to the Gold Team. Let's hear it for them. Come on. Here you go. Yes. Good job, Gold Team. Thanks a lot, all right? Yeah. High five, Steph. Way to go. Another one over here. You guys are on your way to the Funhouse. You excited? Yeah. Yes, we're going to do it. We'll see you in a minute. We're going to the Funhouse. Come on.
this is their chance to rock and roll to the Funhouse for a lot of fun, a lot of cash, and a lot of prize. But first, I gotta know what's in the Funhouse, big guy. Take it away. Hey, children, rush into the Funhouse. Take a spin on the terrible turntable. Then rush up to raid the fridge. Hidden inside this cockeyed cooler is a tag pool, the Konica EFP3. It's a great little camera. It includes a focus group system, built-in electronic flash, and oversized viewfinder. Oh, you get color print film, too. Ooh, from Konica. Next, climb through the windows of these two crazy cottages, because hanging in one of them is a tag for these fashion watches. Boys and girls, quartz, moon phase, and calendar feature. Boto, case, and band. Champagne dial. Sweep second hand with one genuine diamond in the dial. Ooh. Then climb up to our funhouse big mouth. Pull out his tongue and grab the tag for Texas Instruments Computer Fun Voyager and Ready, Set, Read. Fits development needs of specific learning phases. Interactive educational products from Texas Instruments. Next, reach up to the gurgling soda can and grab some cash. Then, oh, pull down the white water slide to the pool. Or, you could cross over the Rainbow Bridge, scramble in the neat Niagara Basin Falls and catch a cash in the cave, then tumble through the barbecue tunnel. Oh, well, you could win your own leather jacket. Get ready, because you're going to be the coolest dressed kids in school when you show up in your own leather jacket that you picked out. Next, head on up to the haunted house. I'm waiting in one of the two caskets. The other is filled with buckets of bubbling blood. Ew! Which of these coffins is tag for? Ten round trip tickets to Catalina. Just sailing out to Avalon Bay on Buzzing Hill's Catalina Island. The more Catalina cruises, the larger ship to Catalina. The daily departures to the Long Beach or San Pedro. Next, climb aboard the Cannibal Cruise. Then jump into the Human Stupac, where you could win this cassette recorder. Magnamark's portable stereo AM FM group cassette recorder is smart, very smart. The turbo bass generator gives a great sound performance. Furnished by Magnavox. All of these prizes, plus hashtags on Treasure Island, in the Avalanche Room, and in the ship pilot room. All in today, one out. Tell you what, there's a lot of good prizes in there today. I hope you guys get them all. Who's going first? I am. Listen up, Mike. When I say go, I want you to tear into the funhouse, grab any three tags you want. Come on out here, high five the Steph woman. She's going in there for three more tags. They're going to keep going on like that for the full two. And they're not going to forget today's secret power prize tag. Everybody at home, find out where it is. If. One of them picks the Secret Power Prize tag. The two of them are going to this awesome vacation. Time, sir? You'll be going to Hawaii. And you'll be staying at the Waikiki Marina Hotel. Close to the heart of downtown and famous Waikiki Beach. Enjoy the fun and excitement of Hawaii at the Waikiki Marina Hotel. We make Waikiki yours. And we'll be flying you and a parent from Los Angeles to Hawaii on Delta Airlines. You receive the complete Fantastic Flyer membership package with games, puzzles, and prizes from Delta, the official airline for kids. Yeah. Aloha! Michael, do that thing you did in the beginning of amusement parks for good luck. Yeah. How'd you do it? Uh, amusement parks. Do it one more time. Amusement parks! Yes. Let's set the time for two. I'm going to get the fun house started. <laughs> <laughs> Audience, let's hear it. Come on. <laughs> we are going to the fun house. On your mark, get set, go, Michael. Michael and his amusement park. Rock and roll, there it is. Go, baby, go, 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 go. Go ahead, Mike. All right. Mike's moving and moving. Come on, Mike. He's on the bridge. Get up there, baby. Where's he going? He's got to go quicker. He's got to go faster than that.
got a tag. He's coming back down. Come on, Jack! 20 seconds left. Come on now, she said, first thing she said when she said it, that's it? That is it. They didn't get the power prize. The tag was on the paddle wheel. 35 millimeter camera for both of them. Catalina trip for both of them and some cash. How much? $300. $300 for each of them. High five. Good work. Good work, babe. Come on over here. You ready for a grand total? $1,308. Yes. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did at home. I'm J.D. Roth. Hope your house is as much fun as ours. Yes! Warner Brothers, the Performers.